Hello, Abnormal Seeking the Truth. Well, I'm probably not going to put it on Abnormal Seeking the Truth now I think about it. This is going to be a YouTube members and Patreon members video only. Uh, it will be released to you all first, and then later on it will be released to everybody. This is one of your perks for being a member. So, I hope you enjoy. This is one of my many paranormal stories I've experienced in my lifetime. I am a young mother about to turn 19, and I have two toddler daughters who, for the sake of this story, I'll call Everlyn and Jillian. We live in a double wide out in the country. Our home is surrounded by woods, and we have a lot of animals including two dogs, a bearded dragon, and a Madagascar hissing cockroaches, a cockatiel, and five snakes. That last one is the one I usually get weird looks for. My girls are animal lovers, as I have been since I was their age. We live in a relatively chill existence, but occasionally we get visited by some unexplained enemy, entity, sorry. and that's where our story begins. It was a warm night back in September of last year. My daughters were sleeping soundly in their beds, and I was awake washing dishes from dinner. This was around 10 o'clock at night. On the kitchen island behind me set my cell phone, plugged in, and it was charging as I continued to force it to play music for me. Suddenly, interrupting my one-person concert, my phone crashed to the ground. Cord still attached, it whipped around, wondering how on earth it had managed to fall, considering it had been laying flat on the countertop, untouched. As I bent over to pick it up, I felt a gust of cold air hit me in the face, and at the same time, I made a mental note of the odd angle at which my phone cord hung. It hung in a loop which somehow did not undo itself during the fall. It didn't make any sense. The tension on the cord due to my phone falling should have pulled out of the loop. But it didn't. I picked my phone up, stuck my hand through the loop to unwrap it, and the air within the loop was ice cold. A cold shiver ran down my spine as I set the phone back on the island and nervously went about my business. That was the first time I encountered her. The same exact scenario had played out more than once, always my phone falling off of the perfectly flat surface and the cord staying in that same unnatural loop. After a few of these experiences, I came to name this entity, Linda, after a certain horror movie character who was killed by strangulation by a phone cord. It seemed like a fitting name. I never saw Linda outright, but I, very often, I'd seen a woman's figure in a red dress with long hair at the corner of my eye. She'd vanish when I turned to look. Everly and Jillian saw her a few times, too, and always in the same place. They'd point to my nightstand where my phone sat charging and say, Mommy, who's that girl? This ghost, as we assume she is, has never done anything malicious or downright scary. She just stands there next to my tangled phone cord. When she appears, the room fills with a cold breeze as if the wind window had been left open, and every so often a sweet floral smell would accompany her presence as well. Other than that, though, she's just kind of out there. My daughters enjoy saying hello to her in the mornings, and we make inside jokes about her roommate. Our animals don't pay her any mind, which makes me believe that she means us no harm. After all, animals tend to have a better sense of paranormal than humans do. Everly likes to pretend that Linda is her big sister, and Jillian, being only two, just giggles and smiles when she sees her. This story may not be particularly scary, but it's a fascinating in my opinion, and we enjoy sharing it. Not all stories of people who have encounters, Mike, are all evil. Some people have these spirits in their homes that are never mean or malicious. I wanted your opinion on this. <clears throat> well, I believe what you're dealing with is a demon, just my opinion. I believe that you made a mistake by naming it and giving it place. Um, I believe by you all talking to it and allowing it to be there is going to be a danger to your daughters and yourself eventually in the future. Um, I believe right now it's testing you and um, 
it's trying to uh, gain power by being in your house and you allowing it to be there and giving it recognition it's just a matter of time before things start happening probably we will start with your kids trying to get them to do things and eventually probably try to get the kids to uh well just let's just say do really bad things i think that you should rebuke it and have it removed from your home before it's too late and i think that you should not give these things place and they should be they should be removed that's my opinion you wanted my opinion so that's my opinion i hope y'all enjoy this video i hope that uh y'all uh, comment on this and give me your opinions on what you think thank you so much for uh you know being members and subscribers of the channel helping support the channel it means a lot to us it helps us a lot and it helps us to go out and do our boots on the ground so thank you all so very much for this and also to our regular listeners when this drops to you thank you for watching commenting and hitting the like that also helps and uh, we all work together as a team and as a family and we'll continue to grow and be successful Thank you each and every one of you. Until next time, keep your head on a swivel. Don't be something's dinner, and we'll see you on the next one.